Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, assalamu alaikum, chesh, yakshimash, and welcome to the channel. So, everything is a tip at the moment because I haven't been in here for about four, five, six days making videos, so I've kind of like dumped everything here. There's bits of everything. There's little floodlights to light up the Kirby wall. There's some H60 bags for a video coming up. Adapters, light bulbs, filters, my alarm. And in here as well, I have the new hose for my um, Electrolux Professional. So, and then here we've got filters and bags and stuff. So, first of all, let me get all of this tidied up and we'll concentrate on today's video for the bank holiday special, which is Elvira. So I'm very excited about getting Elvira polished up and we're gonna do a full house demo with her as well. So let me get all of this cleaned up and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so everything is all tidied up and I am back with Elvira. Now, I call her Elvira because she looks like the um, evil mistress of the juniors being in black and grey. I just think it's kind of funny. This was a swap that I gave for one of my contours. Um, I think I've already switched this on before, but I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. I love this vacuum. I really, really do. Uh, Dale has one which has another name, but I can't remember what Dale calls his. Um, he's given it a male name. I mean, I'm not in the habit of giving them all names, but I just thought this looked a little bit uh, like a bit of an evil temptress, anyway. <laughs> there we go. She works extremely well. Uh, let me take the bag off and pull a little clip. Come on, V. There we go. Thank you. So if we have a look inside, I've already put uh, one of those more modern Siebel bags into it. It's a top fill. It's in excellent, excellent, excellent condition. There's an air freshener that I've put in there as well. So what we're going to do today with Elvira is basically give her a polish up. She desperately needs a polish. So what I'm going to do, let me take this off. Take this screw off here. And that's basically all I'm going to do is just give the outside of this a really, really good polish. It's really, really clean. I'm not going to do anything else to it. What I am going to do, there's some dust inside there, so I'm going to wash this off. Um, and then I'm just going to wipe it over and give it a polish. So what I'm going to do now, what you're going to see now, is basically in fast forward of me just polishing this. And I'll come back to you when it's all done. So that is Elvira, all polished up, and she's had her wax coat put on her, so I'm just taking the wax off, and the only thing that's missing from this now is the lettering on the front here. I don't know if it had lettering on there, but I do believe the silver highlighting of the hoover sign the logo just at the front here will finish it off really nicely so i'm going to get you guys a little bit closer and i'm going to find my silver pen here it is 
and I'm going to add the highlights for the Hoover logo onto it. So let's move you closer. Okay, so I've moved you guys really close. Now. That. The only issue I have is there's a little bit of paint going into the R. But I think you would have to go up to it extremely close to see. There we go. That'll do. The more you fiddle with it, the more it's going to go splodge. Oh, there we go. You're not going to see it from far. You'll see it from there. It looks really good. Okay, so that's enough of this. Let's get it all upstairs and let's get it demoed. So we are here on the top floor with Elvira. All lovely and polished. Let's give her a go. Inside, yeah? Be careful. All right, try it again. <coughs>
started this, you may have noticed that I was fiddling around with the height adjustment on it. Because I thought something was wrong. I thought the belt had come off or the belt was loose or something wasn't working right. Because it didn't seem to agitate the carpet. And I do remember that with these newer ones, this with these ones from the 80s, they did not have the agitation as the old ones did. And I can vouch for that with this one. Even though it was grooming the carpet very well and it was sucked to the carpet and it was doing a really good job, it did not seem to have that beating vibration action as the old ones did. But it did do a good job. Right, so let's move down to the next floor.
So there we go. Elvira has done her job. She is clean from top to bottom. In the light of day, I, this doesn't look so black. It looks more kind of um, like a navy blue and grey in the in daylight. Can't really tell, but this does look more of a very dark navy blue rather than black. So. I don't know, I think she's going lighter with age. So here is the Hoover Junior U1104. Lovely and polished. It's got some scuff marks on it, but uh, it just looks better than what it is. A bit of a polish, that's all it needed. And good use. Oh, out. Right. So let's have a look in the bag. Yeah, it's definitely picked up fluff and dust, I can feel it at the bottom. I'd picked up a little bit of debris, but uh, yeah, it's definitely done a good job. Shake it onto the bottom. Shake it up, baby. <laughs> so there we go, so all the dust has gone down there. I think it did really well. Very impressed with Elvira, I have to say. I'm very pleased to have her, oops. Her breathman fell out. Very impressed and happy to have her in my collection. Hang on, I need to put you down. Okay, so there we go. That was just a quickie for the um, bank holiday. I hope you've all had a lovely bank holiday. And I'll see you all again in the next video. So please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. Stacks of content coming up. Three a week. Bank holidays, I try and do an extra one, a special one. So there we go, it's got its badge on there. This one's made in Britain. Seen better days, but it's still there. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.